Hello, this is Model Fun. Welcome to the first episode of new ICM Bristol Beaufort build. In this video, I'm going to build the cockpit, close fuselage, mask and assembly of a glass nose and cockpit windows, and add wings. But before I do that, let me start with a quick look at the goodies the ICM company packed in the box. This is a completely new tool, released this year. Inside there is one big bag with parts, an instruction and decals. The first page of the instruction has a short history of the aircraft and a list of colors to use. Later we see old spruce with parts and clear building steps to follow. At the end of the instruction, ICM was kind enough to print mask templates, which is nice. Five painting options for this model included in the kit. Decals look very sharp and detailed. Plastic parts are nicely molded, sharp and look very good. Clear parts also look transparent and the quality is good. As usual, a full unboxing and review of this kit will be on my channel once I finish the build. The first step is the assembly of the floor parts. After cutting the part of the sprue, I remove remaining plastic. The fit is really nice and I hope it's going to stay like this to the end of the build. These injection marks are in the nose section and I'm afraid they will be visible, so I filled the holes with putty. When I have all interior elements ready, I paint them with Tamiya Green. I mix white to the base color 
to paint highlights. The same mix is used to dry brush ribs and all pointed edges. The instrument panels were painted in matte black, but later I found this picture of the navigator instruments and I repainted these elements in the cockpit color. For the pilot's instrument panel I have decals. I'm going to apply them with MicroSet and MicroSol solution. When all are in the right position, I use a UV nail coat and UV lamp to make them look more realistic, like behind the glass. I covered all parts with a coat of gloss varnish and now I add some oil wash to bring up details a bit more. When I have all elements ready, it's time for the final assembly of the cockpit. There are no seat belts in this kit, so I add photo etched ones from Edart. These are not dedicated to this model, so I'm going to improvise a bit. And also, I think Edart released a dedicated set for this kit recently. Too late for me, but you can check it out. Another element that is not included in the kit, I printed a map of the British coast and just gonna leave it on the navigator table.
A fit of the fuselage parts is also good, only at the top the parts are a bit off, but I will use clamps to hold them together. A mask template is a nice idea. Even better would be to have a pre-cut masks, but I guess we have to wait for some aftermarket masks for that. All elements of the wing fits just perfect. I cleaned the joints, rescribed the lost lines and will try to fit them to the fuselage. Well, that's all for this part. If you liked the video, please leave me a like. 
and subscribe to the channel to see what happens next. Thank you for watching.